Hello everybody! If you followed my last video correctly for optimization, you should be able to load in the game in this Porsche and come right here to this spot and you'll notice that you do have reflections in the car, you do have sunlight and you do have shadows. You'll notice the lines are choppy, which is your anti-aliasing, and you'll notice the shadows aren't very sharp, which is your shadow resolution in AC video. So now we're going to make the game look good and still carry a high frame rate. What you need to do is open your menu on the right side of the screen. This is your app bar and open SOL config. If you don't have SOL config enabled, you need to install SOL correctly from race department. The current version is 2.2.5 link in the description. And you also need to make sure that in content manager under Assetto Corsa apps that you have all of the SOL config, SOL weather, and just enable every SOL option. Make sure they're all enabled and you will be golden. So how can we make the game look good now that we've gone ahead and changed some of this stuff and we are left with this game? Well, first things first, what I would like to recommend right away is go to page five and make sure that your lights are controlled by SOL. And for a default filter, which I think looks good with SOL is SOL extra. So today I will be running that. It's important to note if you do not like something in this filter, you can open the filter menu here and you can come in here and you can change a whole bunch of things. So if you have a few minutes and you really want to experiment, come on in here and uh, change some of these settings and see what happens. My SOL extra is slightly edited, but it shouldn't be anything too different from what you see here. All right, let's go through the SOL config and let's go through every single page real quick and do things that you can improve your settings with and how your game looks. So what we will do is we will up the quality to 100% by clicking down here. It's not always perfect. 100% quality is good. We're going to skip this for now. And we're going to go right to the page three, which has a whole bunch of different brightness, contrast, saturation settings. Now, what I recommend here is while you're going through the settings is to increase and decrease the settings at a high and low value. That way you will be able to see exactly what is happening to your game while you're going through these settings. And if you have any concerns about any settings or what they might do, this is an easy way to find out what they do and how to change them. Also, if anything is orange or blue, that means that the post processing filter itself will have those settings locked in the SOL config and you cannot change those settings. So if you're having a hard time with that, all you need to do is go to default on your post processing filter. And now you have your own filter you can also right click this filter and edit it to create a brand new filter and this will unlock everything in your SLO config. So what we're going to do is I am going to try and make my game here how I personally like it to look by going through these settings. So I'm going to start by taking out some of the saturation and leaving everything how it is there. Auto exposure, I recommend to just leave how it is. We will hit controlled by SLL for lights on page five. I don't mess with the sun angle. I do multiply my lights by 200% because I do like to see more light. The sky blue preset is totally up to you. I do like to run without smog. The difference of smog versus no smog can clearly be seen here. So I like to run no smog and I keep my horizon glow percents the same. The HDR multiplier is going to give you a big difference in contrast from weather and lighting against the track and buildings. I usually like to try and keep this at about 125 
and I will work through other settings to change my colors a little bit so things are less blue and gray and more brown. So now we will move up to the clouds page. By default, I keep this until later. Sometimes I don't actually use these clouds. The sun color balance percent is a really big one because this will increase the amount of yellow that you see from the sun, but it will also increase the amount of blue from the shadows. So this is a total personal preference at the end of the day. I like to make this about 50%. I find when you have 100%, there's just a little too much difference in the shadows all around, whereas 50% provides me a little bit more neutral. I like to keep all my night stuff the same here. Night light pollution, I do turn on. I do like to have night light pollution. What you can do is you can turn down the density and the radius and that will free up some of the night light sky so that the stars will be able to get through the, the sky a little better and have a better visual. For reflections myself, I like to turn down my reflections to about 60% because I find at nighttime especially there is a lot of color on the road from reflections that is totally unnecessary. For the sky, it depends on the type of day. Sometimes it's nice to turn down the sun intensity factor, which will automatically provide you a bit of a nice little color contrast there. You can turn up and down the gradient style of the sun as well, which will make how it fluctuates from one end to the other a little more visual. And you can change this as well, which is another really big sky setting to kind of give it different color little more vibrant color to it. So if you just come here and you mess around, you will be able to see what all of these settings are doing. The density actually is wrecking my game there. So let's go back to 100% to avoid that from happening. Uh, the sun here, this is a good one because you can actually increase the amount of light and stuff coming from the sun. You can make your buildings and stuff different here. Uh, you can change the saturation as well, so you can have it coming through a lot more yellow if you like or not. This is a really good setting to uh, mess around with and try and find that fine line of what you like versus what you don't like. The ambient saturation, I like to take down. This is what provides a lot of blue in the game. I personally don't like all the blue that comes with it. I like to turn that down. I don't like all the blue. Also, the ambient light level percent here is a really big thing for nighttime users. If you turn it up, it will make things a lot more bright. You can also enable fog here. I do find fog can uh, compensate for how your game is looking if your game is not looking the best. It should be noted as well that depending on the time of day, the fog will actually look different. And in the sun percent in the fog section is how you get your fog to actually have some of the sun color in it. So if you're looking for some fog in your game to try and make the, the sky and stuff look a little better and just not be so bad with these low spec settings, you can always try and go for some fog, put some uh, fog in the sky as well. If you want stars in the sky, you have to turn the exponent down and the saturation up on page 19. This will allow you to have stars in your sky when the weather is clear at nighttime. I'm just going to open up the SOL planner here and see if I can demonstrate that for you real quick just to make sure that everything we did so far will actually allow for the stars to pop out at night. So there you go, that's that's how you get the stars, just like that. That will work, and we're going to go back to uh, whatever time of day we were at there. So as you can see, as the time goes along through the day, different weather happens, different things happen. So the config is something that you want to be changing consistently, or spend time to try and find one of the settings that does work for you that you do actually really like and enjoy. A huge thing as well is your bounced light 
and emissive light. While your lights are on, if you turn your emissive really high up, you'll notice that you can really see the buildings and the car lights during the day. Also, the bounced light is what creates light on the ground a ton from the street lamps and other various light resources around the map. I highly recommend you mess around with your bounce light too. And that's it for the SLL config for the super big stuff that's really demanding. But also in SOL custom weather, which I just hit, you have a whole new custom weather thing that you can use here. Some of this is very demanding, some of it's not, but you can turn up and down the ambient stuff. You can turn down the wind speed, turn up the wind speed. You can make it overcast, which is now really going to affect how thick that fog is getting. You can make your weather badness more, which has less weather graphical things being shown as that gets turned up you can increase smog again big time here so this is a good way to kind of make your game filter out some of the ugly stuff that's in the background is just by using sol custom weather and hitting this to use and changing the settings in this other menu you can also add all sorts of clouds if you want through this as well However, in my own opinion, the clouds are pretty demanding and I personally do not find them worth it. As you can see, they've decreased my FPS by about 50% just by having those options on. And if I turn them up all the way, we will really start to get a graphical loss of almost 50% of my graphics there, or frames per second, sorry. So hopefully that helps everybody understand that you can have a good looking game without having extremely high graphics. I know this doesn't look the greatest. This isn't how I would personally have it or anything, but I just wanted to show everybody all of the options that you can use and how you can make your game look how you want it, no problem in just a little bit of time. And if you follow that last guide, you can see I've changed all these graphics options and I've only lost a little bit of my performance rather than going into CSP, hoping for the best, turning things up and losing a lot of my performance. Hopefully that helped you out. It's not about what you got, it's about how you set it up. Stay gaming everybody, have a great day. If you need some help, join the Discord, all links are in the description there. So, hope to see you out here on these streets, enjoying the high frames everybody. Take care.